Hi friends, it is me Nikki here with holiday entertaining tips for small spaces. This is something I know a lot about because majority of our homes have been very small because we traveled with the military and lived in housing and they tend to be a little on the smaller side. And I wanted to share some tips if you're in that situation of having a small space, but you're entertaining this holiday season. These tips will also work if you have a large space. So I hope you find it helpful and let's jump right in. Okay friends, let's start with the initial wow factor. Your place may be small, but that does not mean you cannot host a fabulous holiday. You know, I've done it over the years, so I can tell you it can be done. But you want to wow your guests before they even reach your house. And how you do that is with your invitation, doing something out of the box. For example here, I have this little miniature pot here that is so cute that I got from Hobby Lobby, 50% off there. Christmas stuff is all 50% off right now. It says Yuletide Yummies, and it's just adorable and it makes for the perfect invitation. Now, what I recommend in small spaces a lot of times is potluck, everybody bring a dish. This takes a lot of the work off of the hostess. With you having a small space, you don't have a lot of room to do a lot of cooking and things like that without kind of taking up entertaining space. So what you can do to make it fun is get these little miniature pots and then send it to everyone who you want to bring a dish. You basically get a little pouch here, however you wanna do it, put what you want them to bring in the dish. You can put your invitation in there you know seal it off here and then all you simply have to do from that point is put it in a beautiful festive box and you can either hand deliver it if that's possible or you mail it to your guests and they have a fun way of getting their invitation and also you requesting what you would like for them to bring and it gets them in the mood for the holidays it's just a fun way to get everybody ramped up for the holiday Another alternative is wooden spoons. You can write what each guest should bring, put a beautiful ribbon, and give it to your guest. Okay friends, so let's move into my next tip which is the trayscape to make room for everyone. You know, a lot of times in the past in my small spaces, I didn't have room to make a beautiful tablescape that would sit everyone totally fine. You can do trayscapes. Create beautiful trays that are festive for the holidays for your guests. That way they can sit on the sofa or you can put out additional chairs and everyone can have their individual place setting that's still fun, festive, they're all together sitting around talking and it's something that's really out of the box and fun. And the great thing about it is you can make it so beautiful and you can make it customized to however you want to do it and you can even keep it simple by using your everyday dishes and then just adding a little bit of um, fun Christmas color in. And the thing about it it is you can have everyone sitting down and you can take orders you can go around like they're in a five-star restaurant and ask them what would they like you know you have a menu card on their tray and then you can serve them and that way they have a just fun experience and it's something that you can do to make entertaining in your small space not feel like you're in a small space or everyone feels like they're cramped you know think of creative ways to make everyone have a good time and for it to be fun for you also now the one thing I do love about doing the trayscape in small spaces is that you can do it ahead of time. And when you put your tray together, you want to keep it simple because you don't want to have a lot of fuss that they have to kind of have in their lap, but you want it to be festive. And so by keeping that simple white palette, I encourage that and then putting touches of the holiday in red or green or whatever your favorite color is. You can also keep it simple with using the golds and whites. You know, do what you prefer. Now you can also, if you prefer to have just desserts on the trays, you can do that. I'm doing that in my home this year where I'm doing the dessert tasting again like I did before, but I'm giving everybody personalized trays and I'll do a separate video on that if you're interested in seeing that, but I thought it would be a fun way to switch it up. And again, these are tips that you can use even if you don't have a small space. And friends, also, a few years ago, I did a tutorial on how to make dollar store trays using pans, and they are so cute, so easy to do. I'll link that video below. I hope you will find it helpful. And now, let's move into my final tip. Now, use that vertical space, friends, the leftover station. Basically, in small spaces, you want to use as much vertical space as possible so that you have walking room and things like that. If you can find a cart like this or something where you can store your paper plates and your to-go boxes and things that will allow your guests to be able to pack a beautiful to-go to plate or while they're there and they want that second piece of pie, they can use disposable plates and things like that and they can easily get to it. It's so simple to do. And if you don't have 
have the space for something like this, you can always take one of your cabinets in your kitchen that's easily accessible, the one that's kind of closest to the living room or whatever, empty it out, put everything in a bin in there and store it away in your bedroom or something, and then transform that one cabinet into a beautiful station with plates and to-go boxes and napkins and just make it your holiday showpiece for your guests to enjoy and then after the holidays you know you can just take it all out and put your things back in but it gives you the storage that you need to have that available for your guests you can also use a bar cart if you have a bar cart already set up in your home then just transform that for your leftover station or your to-go station or if you have a buffet style this is another way where where you can allow everyone to kind of get all of their utensils and things like that. And I got all of this stuff typically at Hobby Lobby, Tuesday morning and places like that. Hobby Lobby, I'm not sponsored by them, but they have the prettiest holiday, you know, paperware, whatever you want to call it. And it's just gorgeous. And they have so many different styles to fit everyone. And it's all 50% off right now. All of their Christmas is 50% off. So I've been really enjoying shopping there, but you can get what theme you want to do. And it can be something that is really fun for your guests and really allows them to take something nice home. They can pack some cookies. You get little bags. You can get gift bags is what I did for them to pack everything in. Along with, I have these stickers here for them to write their name on their packages so that it doesn't get confused with anyone else's and it's just a fun thing and a fun touch that you can do I have some kind of parting gifts to, uh, to go gifts here in the bottom and you can do something you don't have to do mugs you can do something as simple as little bags here with candy in it whatever you want to do and I store mines in my entertainment closet it stays here all the time anywhere anyway but I have it now prepped and ready to go for the holidays and I'm excited about it if you want something this size you can always store it under your bed and find those you know odd places to store it but definitely use that vertical space I hope you have enjoyed my tips on entertaining in small spaces for the holidays. You know, I never let my limited spaces limit me over the years, and I encourage you to do the same. You know, I always entertain like I lived in a mansion, even though I lived in a shoebox. And you know what? You can make it fun. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. And on that note, I want to encourage you to go over to athomewithnikki.com and sign up for my newsletter that I put out every Friday. It's filled with tips not only from myself, but from my friends, from things on entertaining and cleaning and mom tips and style tips and inspirational tips. I put recipes in there. I put mm, sometimes a little secret video in there also. I answer questions from videos and just tons of things. And also this month I am doing giveaways in the newsletter. So you just simply go there and it's emailed to you every Friday and you go to athomewithnikki.com, put your email address in and that's all you have to do. So I hope you all will definitely go over and sign up for my newsletter. It is my new baby that I am having so much fun doing it. I also would love any input that you have to make it better because it is a work in progress. So I hope you all are doing great. I thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful and blessed day, my friends. I'm sending you huge hugs and love. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.